All rights reserved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder. Hello everyone. Have you been to a ride on a dirt bike? On a mountainous train and shaky roads? Uh, the terrain is not that good in those cases but you will find that the dirt bike and its shock absorbing system is very good. Today in this lecture we are going to study about that only. Hello everyone, I am Sachin Kumar, welcome to Aschand Academy and today we are going to discuss about the heavy, critical and light damping. If you want to study about this topic in detail, you can refer this book by Aschand Publishing. You can also find its ebook link in the description box. So, in a previous lecture, we have already studied about the damping, uh, damping forces in a simple harmonic motion. The same thing we will extend to a next level and we will start from the same equation which we have already studied. So the first equation that we uh, started with begins with the mass into the second derivative of the displacement so uh, d square x by dt square so this is equal to negative of kx so this we have already studied in case of simple harmonic oscillation i also introduced a parameter which is minus b dx by dt so dx by dt is a kind of velocity parameter and uh, which contributes as a damping force. So B is the coefficient for which is responsible for damping. For air its value is lesser, for oil its value is even higher and even for a uh, thicker liquid so it could be even more of value. So now we are going to solve this equation and in what way engineers they have designed our uh, automobiles so that we feel less shaky and the journey becomes comfortable. Now uh, let's start solving this equation. So first re rearrange these parameters, these values. So m second derivative of x by dt square plus b dx by dt plus kx is equal to 0. This is a second order linear differential equation which we have already studied in one of our video that how to solve these equations. So just to solve this we can pick some uh, a sample solution and using that sample solution we will insert that sample solution in this equation and overall we will find an auxiliary equation. So let's start with the sample solution x is equal to c e raised to the power alpha t. So let it be the sample solution. Now I am inserting this in the previous equation and what I will get out of it will be uh, in case of the second derivative I will get an equation like m alpha square e raised to the power alpha t obviously c constant is also there plus b alpha e raised to the power alpha t and again c is also there plus k constant c e raised to the power alpha t is equal to 0. So this is the first hand solution uh, we get out of it. Now this c constant and e raised to the power alpha t we can take common 
from uh, every entity and overall what we get is m alpha square plus b alpha plus k is equal to 0. Yes, so this is our auxiliary equation and its solution will explain how damping can be explained. Overall guys, if you look at on this equation, uh, you have already done this in one of our video which we have discussed uh, on the second order differential equation and we also discussed that in that video that second order differential equations are very important in such cases. Now, if we find the roots of this equation, we will get two values of alpha and in our sample solution x is equal to c e raised per alpha t and obviously we can get uh, we can uh, insert the value of alpha and get its solution the solution to this equation so it's very easy so alpha 1 and alpha 2 i am mentioning as two roots of this equation and the general formula is minus b plus minus b square minus 4 a is here m and c is k and the square root of this quantity divide by 2a okay so yes these are its roots now uh, minus b plus minus everything is fine uh, so a is m i should write m at this place so we can write m 2m in the denominator so these are the values of alpha which we can put in this equation and this is a solution if you look at these roots these roots have certain pattern so how they look like so these are equal to minus b by 2m plus minus so i can write it as iota 4mk minus b square square root of this divide by 2m so i have fragmented this and now it is easy to understand because our roots uh, our solution is of the kind e raised to the power alpha t so when we put alpha at this place so this equation will give you one solution like this so something is exponentially going down and the another thing is either plus or minus iota square root of 4 m k minus b square divide by 2 m. So up to this point we have seen that okay so here one part is exponentially decreasing part and one part is with iota with certain condition uh, this is e raised per iota something in other conditions that we are going to discuss in a while uh, this is some kind of heavy damping or another kind of damping overall this is the kind of solution to this differential equation now if i plot this we have certainly found that that one first part is an exponentially decreasing function and the second part is an oscillating wave if it carries iota and as a collection i can plot it like this a wave with the decreasing amplitude okay that is just the one case all depends on this quantity 4 mk minus b square so this is only one aspect of this solution there are other two aspects as well and in a summary we will explain all these once again in which we are going to cover light critical and heavy damping after a short break So myself, Nitin Koi, who will be coming with more number of lectures for you to have 
not only the relativity but more number of topics in the engineering field so that you can have a better understanding of the subject on S chance platform i hope you will enjoy it thank you निशा सिंगला इनऑर्गेनिक और ऑर्गेनिक के कुछ डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट को आसानी से समझाने के लिए मैं आ रही हूँ एस चांद अकेडमी में तो अगर आप हमारे वीडियोस को देखना चाहते हैं तो सब्सक्राइब जरूर कीजिए वेलकम बैक टू द एस चांद अकेडमी बिफोर गोइंग टू ब्रेक वी लेफ्ट विद क्वेश्चन एंड द क्वेश्चन वॉज how we can define light critical and heavy damping using uh, this equation so overall i am talking about this parameter which is 4 mk minus b square so this factor determines uh, the nature of this damping how this can be defined so let us consider the case 1 when this value 4 mk is greater than b square so when this value 4 mk is greater than b square in that case you will find that this is 4 mk minus b square is a positive number its square root is a positive number and e raised to the power iota something will explain something oscillating in terms of cos or sin if we take a real part of it so something oscillating and the first part e raised to the power minus b by 2m will explain something which is exponentially decaying so overall this is a kind of light damping so light damping in this we will see that the amplitude of oscillation decreases with time and we observe a pattern like this so isn't it easy but let's move to the second case second case is where this parameter 4 mk is equal to b square so 4 mk is equal to b square in that case this quantity is zero so the overall uh, the solution to this differential equation will be of something of different kind uh, because two roots are equal in that case which is equal to minus b by 2m and in that case we know how to solve that second order differential equation when the roots are equal overall if i discuss about its pattern so this case is known as critical damping so this is critical damping and if i look at its pattern so it it looks like this so something is decaying and it decays and after that it reaches the mean position in this way we can define critical damping critical damping is uh, one of the most important because uh in the least time you come to your mean position you must have seen in your uh, automobiles they use your shock absorbing system in such a way that they achieve a critical damping so whenever uh, the road is not good or something some speed breaker is there in that case when your car jumps so it comes back to its position following this critical damping after that in the third case we are going to explain about the third case where 4 mk is smaller than b square so when this quantity 4 mk is smaller than b square overall your root will be an imaginary so that iota will multiply with iota so something e raised to the power minus some parameter you will get out of it and if you analyze its pattern so it will be like this 
it will take a lot more time to come to its mean position overall the solution of this differential equation uh, will take a lot more time to come to its mean position in this case and this is known as a heavy damping as an example you can see uh, like in the case of a door closer uh, you must have observed like if you leave the door open so it comes to its uh, average position or it closes very slowly because it is over damped in case if it shuts down fast in that case uh, it may harm somebody so that's why uh, it is heavily damped and it closes very slowly and in automobiles they they don't use exactly a critical damping but slightly different than that and in that difference so they use slightly less critical damping or you can say uh, somewhat towards the light damping because it reaches to the mean position very fast and after that some small bumps you observe so this is overall that engineering which uses this mathematics or this kind of physics uh, to make its vehicle or its instruments better so in this way you can define uh, light critical and heavy damping and as an example we also covered that critical damping uh, is related to the shock absorbing systems and heavy damping is the basic example we can study from the door closer so overall guys in this lecture we have studied that first a second order differential equation is enough to understand about the damping in a system after that we try to solve this using a sample solution and then we get something out of it uh, because we took a sample solution and then found the roots of an auxiliary equation and those roots showed us a certain kind of behavior depending on that behavior we defined what is light damping critical damping and heavy damping so as a general example if i explain these three phenomena of light critical and heavy damping so we can just take a simple example like if i have a pendulum uh, which is oscillating now if this pendulum is in air so it will take some time to come to its mean position and it will damp very slowly overall for a long time it will just keep on moving and will come to its mean position very very late and on the other hand if i put this uh, oscillator in uh, in a oil bath so in that case you will observe that it will just show you some oscillations and will easily come back to its center position will come to rest overall and if the oil is even thicker in that case you will observe that it will directly come to its mean position and it will not show any kind of oscillation so that condition is your critical damping on the other hand if you further use a thick oil in that case bob will take a lot of time because of the viscosity of the oil to reach to its mean position so that case is your heavy damping when it takes a lot of time to even reach to its mean position so as a simple case we can classify these three cases with these simple examples if you want to study about this topic in detail you can refer this book by s chan publishing you can also find its ebook link in the description box if you like this video please don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel